Hey guys, it's Bub here, and this video we're taking a look at StrayOS 11. This is actually public beta 2 that is quite a few years old at this point. I believe it was released in 2023. However, this is the latest build of StrayOS that I could find. This was recommended to me by one of my viewers in the comments section, so I'm very eager to take a look at it and see what it's like, despite the fact it is two-ish years old. I know nothing about this OS besides if viewer wanted me to take a look at it. Um, I don't know what it's based off of. Obviously based on the boot up screen, it's at least Windows 11 22 H2. Um, but yeah, I know nothing about this OS. So I'm going into this completely blind. I've done no testing. First of all, we're going to see what the purpose of this OS is, what it's like, and then we'll go from there. So first off, I'm really liking this black background here. I like it a lot better than the purple that's there by default. We'll accept our terms. So this is not the new Windows 11 installer. So this is probably either 22 H2 or 23 H2. And just like that, we are now installing StereoS 11 Public Beta 2. Again, this is a few years old, it's Public Beta 2. I'm not exactly sure if there is a newer version or not. If there is, I couldn't find it. But let's get this installed and then we'll take a look at it. All right, and here we are in the out-of-box experience. First things first, I'm noticing this background is not the typical background. It kind of has more like of a pinkish purple hue in the top right. But we're gonna go ahead and continue. Um, if you've watched this channel for a while, you know that I really prefer when developers leave the out-of-box experience in the OS. It just adds that little extra bit of customization. Like, I, I feel better about it, not knowing that it's just not a, we're just thrown into the desktop, which is something I haven't seen in quite a while here. Um, but we are now checking for updates. Hopefully it doesn't find any, because I know updates can break custom builds like this. Um, but it does look like it's doing something. All right, and here we are on the desktop of StrayOS 11 Public Beta 2. Uh, the only thing I went ahead and done off camera is I've installed VMware Tools just for a better viewing experience for you guys, but here we are. The first thing I'm noticing here is the cat that has been baked into the background. The developer must be a big fan of cats. This does look like a default Windows 11 wallpaper, well actually two default Windows 11 wallpapers. I know that this one is a wallpaper in itself, minus the cat, and then this one is another wallpaper, so they really merged it. And if the cat wasn't in the picture, I would like it a lot more. I'm more of a dog person myself, but I would just prefer a plain, you know, land here with this curve at the top. I would prefer it without any animals in it. Uh, but that's such a minor thing that you can even right click and change. Um, speaking of right clicking and changing, we don't have the new Windows 11 context menus. They are back to the way they were in Windows 10. So I'm assuming cut, copy, and paste are yep, back where they used to be. They're no longer at the top, which I've gotten so used to the new ones in Windows 11 that they don't even bother me anymore, but I know that they're definitely going to bother some people, especially coming from Windows 10. On the desktop, by default, all we have is the recycle bin, which opens up, and I don't know if it's just a graphical glitch or what, but this color scheme looks really off. Like, that should not be gray, but it is. Then we have Microsoft Edge on the desktop by default. Again, a Windows 10 or Windows 11 pre-installed. Down here on the right side, we have our Show Desktop button. We have our context or our calendar here um, that is in dark mode. So that and the taskbar are not agreeing right now. We have our volume settings, which again is in dark mode for some reason. Uh, it's not agreeing with what the taskbar is set in. Uh, and then we have our system tray in light mode. Over on the left side of the taskbar, which is typically where we'd see the widgets, we have our start menu. Um, it appears like this OS is set to have everything on the left side. I actually like them in the middle. Uh, that's my personal opinion. I know probably me just coming from Mac OS, I like it in the middle. Um, we have our start menu. We have our task viewer. We have our file explorer. We then have Edge and Microsoft Store. The one thing I am noticing is that the search bar down here on the taskbar is missing. Um, but that could be turned back on if we wanted to. We could put the box, we could put the label, or we could just put the icon. I mean, it can be brought back, but by default it is turned off. Let's go into that start menu here and see that by default we only have three things pinned. We have Edge, Settings, and File Explorer, which for a new install of Windows, that's all you really need. There's no need for all the additional ads or anything that Windows puts in. That is, quite frankly, more than enough. In all apps, let's see, uh, okay, so I'm kind of getting the gist here that this OS, they're trying to cut out all the bloat. Again, I came into this going blind, I had no idea what this OS's purpose was, and now I'm kind of starting to see it. Um, by default, we have accessibility, our typical accessibility features, calculator and clock, feedback hub, file explorer, get help, get started, media player, Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Store, notepad, OneDrive is installed, paint, which does appear, yep, it is the new version of paint. Always have to check that because I know some older builds on Windows 11 came with the old version. Photos, Quick Assist, Settings, Snipping Tool, Terminal, Windows Security, Windows Tools, 
and Xbox. So we do have quite a few things here in the start menu by default. Going into the file explorer, we can see that we are currently using 18.1 gigabytes and we have 41 remaining on a 60 gig disk. So it does appear to be less than a typical Windows 11 installation, but it's by no means comparable to like Tiny 11 or anything like that, which again, went into this blind, that's really not what it was for. Um, the ISO itself is 4.8 gigabytes, at least that's what it is, or mounted as a DVD in the system. As for CPU and RAM usage, let's go ahead and take a look here. Again, the one thing I'm noticing right off the bat, maybe it'll be fixed if we log out and log back in, is that the system dark mode does not match the taskbar light mode, and that is bothering me a lot right now. Um, but as for CPU, we're doing typical Windows CPU utilization where it jumps up and down, and memory, we're using 2.2 out of 8 gigabytes. So, you know, we're using about a fourth of our RAM just idling, which is not necessarily good, but not bad per se. And then of course our disk is sitting idle because we're not really using it. Other than that, that was really a brief overview of Stray OS. If there's anything else you'd like to take a look at in this OS, let me know in the comments below and maybe we'll make a part two if there is a newer build that I was not able to find. Uh, with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you're new out here, as to do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. If you have any other video suggestions for me on what OS I should take a look at next, please leave them in the comments below because I look at those and that's really where I get my video ideas from. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.